where it says a buster miss? <laughs> Alright, loses right. quarter is the offense participants. Pete versus Pete. So what do you feel like in this matchup? Pete has to be Because he's not really I'm not too sure. I read the guide. Read the guide. No. Smash Wars guide. No, Armada's guide. Armada's guide. Wow, Armada's guide. Armada's guide. Yeah. And Which is not Smash Wars. That is, well, that's true. And, you know, at first, Mom and Lodge were basically saying how, they just told me how when they discussed with Mom and Lodge, they didn't know exactly what to do in the matchup, except like dash attack when you want to punish them. I do. Um, as Peach. But it looks like they actually changed the game plan up and are using different options. Okay, so Peach has a respect to Peach. She doesn't have a chance to do it. I definitely think that she can outdo her in a neutral game just because she has one range on her and move. And she can like use needles on her toes. Yeah, I'm sure I'm surprised Patricia uses needles actually yeah. um, a lot more often because if you do that and she can teach has a hard time dealing with that. But I mean, I guess he's just respecting the idea that mom might have answers to needles. What would you, what do you think you would be to have to needles? I actually don't know the size oh, of the okay, you, you read that. Bro. You read you it. Did. You did. <laughs> so I'd like to point out in the first stop when he took out um, participants for air, Mom's rotation game is really on the These two players are just rotation. So they both they will fight for that. Um, they just want to make the best out of their stock. Oh, oh yeah, these are two reactors. Uh, that's how you know it's serious. Okay. And he's gonna have to give up his invincibility. I don't know why people turn into Zelda when I don't know what the uh, recovery ratio is for when you turn into Zelda. Honestly, it's like what do you expect from Peach? Like you think she's not gonna be able to do stuff, but it's so hard to recover with Zelda that she can just nair you for days. Yeah. And like maybe he was hoping she would get like a not a so good, yeah. But then, but then, on the next stop, you give up your invincibility to be able to turn into Zelda. Yeah. I mean, they were getting too, like, she made me, like, do an up air, turn up, up and it's like, what, what, what do you know anything about? What about power? Well, it is a down G. Because she's at the so, top platform. Okay, so it's a down G, so your control stick is going down. That's a down cat, dude. <laughs> so he can jump. Oh, wait, okay. You're, because, like, when you're in the middle of your transformation, right? Right there, he got punished for the time right So I feel like what this needs to do is, you know, I mean, patience, but it's not really capitalizing on Like, he, he, he's doing some reads, but his punishes are, like, kind of off. Yeah, his punish, okay, so his punish can be a little bit of work. And when he gets into, like, he didn't even get a single grab. I feel like that's what she needs to do here. Is outdo Peach in the neutral for one and get the grab. Like mom didn't even throw out that many down smash. He and, even, and, it, and if he starts getting grabs, he's probably gonna start trying to down smash more, but he can bait. Like he can he needs to work on his baits, I should say. Like I know mom is super patient, you know? But you can I, still bait a patient player. So because like, they get they can trap themselves in the corner. The so weird participant is just trying to punish with smash attacks. I feel like the more effective punish is to like try to get a grab and then work off of that. Unfortunately, um, participant is not a grab that you see. He likes to do more textbooks though. But sometimes you just have to do whatever it takes to win. Do whatever it takes to win. Alright, that was a nice down smash that got him off of it twice. Yeah. You need to be careful because yeah. mom can just yep. down smash that. Let me just down smash it right there and do the third one for the down smash for that. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like I, I respect good job. that. Good job, good job, down smash. But he needs to be Jack careful because good. he's doing it too much. And yeah. I'm gonna work one time. Mom's gonna have that. So he almost missed that. Which is weird because mom's edge guards are usually really on the That was really and good by the way. Yeah, and that's a conversion because he missed the, all because he missed the edge guard. Exactly, and Parts of used so much of his patience to go ahead and 
hit to something, and then force speed out of there. So this up to him. That bear. That bear. That bear. He, yeah, he covered that. so much. He covered so much without the speed. He did, but he also did, like, I think he had that all the way out. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think he was expecting that. So, nice conversion by Fletcher Chase. He can grab it. He often did the last attack. I feel like he could have got much stronger person since he did grab it. Did that feel like did the easy combo grab? Like, what is it? Down the throw with the bear? And there he could have grabbed on the bear. You know, like I said, he just started throwing down the bear. That's just because you're on cloud. <laughs> if you get hit by it while the, flat, the platforms are moving, that's technically a moving hitbox right there. Bear. Yeah, he's been using a lot of bears since then. That was nice to take it. Yep, well, this is his stats attack. That's the first time mom. I'm curious why mom chose that option. Because he should have recognized that for Tiskus was down to a lot. And he just opted to do the dash attack. I don't know what he was doing. That would last forever. Like, just wait till it's finished. Oh, that was nice. Yep, yeah, solid edge guard. Mom just go ahead and force him to do options he don't want to choose. But he's still living. But uh, not anymore. Yeah, mom edge guard. So, I don't know what a participant is doing, but one thing that um, she can do is up being down and away and then go in. Like, they up being down, out, and then go in. Like, he's doing that right now. But it prolongs how much you can to grab, like how much stability you have to grab leads. So when people think they can just let go of leads, you snap the lead because yeah. you held it out so long. Yeah, like, just remember that like, But that's not what I'm saying. For this is actually doing like good job of uh, actually hitting. Wow, I thought that up air was going to take it. Wow. So, what happened there was when Fortissimus air dodged, he lost his jump. Yeah. So basically he lost all the options. The bomb was so in there. This is really close. He's trying to use Neo more. But I think we see, I think we see why he didn't do it. Oh wow, dude, dude. Yo, Yo. Top tilt, dude. Come on, let's go. That is like a school. He was careful. He didn't have Yeah, dude. Go. I don't know what he was reading there. Mom, mom rolls, but he's not gonna roll all the time. You have, like, in order to get mom to roll, you have to feel like a surprise. Oh wow! Kind of funny to see charge down smashes. Well, in, in, in difference for participants, he probably was thinking, like, you know, he's not gonna expect me to do it a second time. He's yeah. not gonna expect me to do it a third time. But, but he's doing it all the time. <laughs> it didn't work the first time. It didn't work the first time, didn't work the second time. Or the third time. But he still clutched it out. He still clutched it out. And mom was not behind those until maybe not that's all just all. That was just that was rough. <laughs> or maybe he was just eating yeah. the damage so he, he needed, didn't have to jump. The just needed that, I think. Yeah. Game momentum now. Alright, dream plan. So do you think it favors Sheik or Peach? Well, Sheik has to get three more neutral on this stage. Okay, so there, Fortissimus ate like 50 damage because he did a, a, a dash attack when he didn't even need to do a dash attack. Like, he was kind of wasting frames in his hands. And the mom just capitalized off of that. Oh wow, that was not here. Too like it was a bounce man. You know what's funny? You know how you, when you see someone just sit there and crouch cancel? And you know they're going to You know they're going to crouch cancel. So I mean, like, it's so obvious, but sometimes you just fall into it. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice game. Grab is such a good move. People need to use it. Yeah, this is definitely has to he, he hasn't been able to do the needle grabs. Okay, nice question about the protection. He's scared of straight stabs. That was, that was a free stop. I feel like on Dreamland, like, okay, okay like, Peach has all this survivability, but she also has, like, all this potential to just win the neutral, and it's, it's a big stage, so there's so much neutral to get through before you actually get something started. It is, but he has to make his, like, participants from using the platform, and then going back to the bottom of the center stage, yeah. but he really needs to trick the Peach into what, like, how he's going to use the movement, and how he's going to approach the movement. 
yeah. you know, especially there, he's missing the out. But I think Malvin, yeah, Mom just caught on to that, and he just got there. Here comes Zelda, and that's yeah, it. Okay, good choice. He didn't decide to uh, teleport. And just down to you, real life, and he's just like, um, so then you think when Pink has a turn of the matchup, that it's helping her, or she just like limits her options? I think it limits her options. Her throw is not as good as Peach's. Like, cause that turn up can like... Um... Peach definitely has more opportunities for safe than the trample than his basic. I don't know how those guys against just tools. Yeah, he's not really trying to pull turn up, he's actually just trying to... All out the seat with better moves, you know? All the time. I think he could have gotten it. No! He's right. Yeah, like he, he baited him twice into that. Mom needs to realize that he just can't punish it unless he's on board. Yeah. And you know, sometimes it's, even though you know. It's hard. Yeah. It's not really important, I think. Like, here's, I have a little theory here. Like, if you know that you can punish a move, but you're not good at doing it, then just go for something else. Like, say if the Peach wasn't, like, Mom wasn't on for the edge guard against participants, then he should figure out what he could do to punish participants. Okay, that's because, because, uh, I don't think he did. I think he just DI'd the fair. Or, yeah, he DI'd the dash attack before he could pull the fair. Like, participants, I feel like he wanted a fair there, but he, he needs to bait Mom, because Mom is really going to Okay, that was a good option, but Mom just covered it. I think it was just lucky that he got the golf club. Go. Oh wow, okay, now we have to turn back to that. I'm kind of just reacting to that. I think it's definitely doable on participants to that. It is doable, but he has to make sure that when Mom throws him, he can go with him. That's not such a good card. Okay. Well, it's Pete. Like, it's hard to land a fair fight. Like, especially when... She doesn't even have that grip. Like, she doesn't have fast hops, like, foul, smart. Like, you can't just go up there and be like, oh, double jump bear, and, like, all those other characters. Like, see how slow he is? Like, that's the sheep. And sheep is supposed to win this one. Alright, nice there. Alright. So, he jab jab. Mom DI'd eyed up. It's doable. He just can't. Oh. Just it no, he has to like. Mom is like baiting him into stuff, and he's not baiting mom. Yeah, it's pretty much like the edge guard for Pete's seek is pretty much. Yeah. I mean, like you grab legs. It's not really much. Stage. It's really not.